Hey everyone, this is JV here from JVIT, the channel designed to review through the means of technology. And in today's episode, I'm going to go over one of the main reasons why I got into technology in the first place and why this is important, whether you're into technology, whether it scares you just to press the power button on your computer, or quite frankly, even if you just have breath in your lungs, this is more of a human uh, thing rather than just a technology thing. So if you fit in that category, I would encourage you to stick around and listen for the entire video because this is really important. It might just change your life. So I want to start off by saying that truth is something that's very important. Truth is something that's fixed. Truth is absolute. There is no such thing as, you know, what's relative truth or my truth, which is a term that a lot of really kind people who I believe have, many have good hearts, have been using lately, but there's no such thing as my truth. There is the truth, and then there's lies, there's falsehood, there's everything else. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty black and white, and a lot of people don't like to consider it that way. But I think it's important, especially in the world of technology. In fact, this is one of the main reasons that got me into tech in the first place. So for those of you that don't know, when I started on my college journey, I was undecided. I had no clue what I wanted to do. There were plenty of things that I was interested in, uh, mostly as it relates to helping people, right, which is what I do through JVIT, through tech, but I had no idea that that's how I wanted to focus it. I thought quite a bit about nursing, um, a few different things. That's the only one that's really coming to mind right now, uh, so I feel like I'm failing you. But at the same time, I wasn't quite sure what I could see myself doing for a third of my day for the rest of my life, and that's kind of the expectation when you begin uh, your education. So I went to school undecided, just trusting my dad, because he's the one who, after all this torment of not knowing what I wanted to do, said, JV, you trust me, right? And so I'm like, yeah. He goes, you gotta go. And so I'm like, okay. And so I went. And for the first year, I, I still didn't figure it out. I took a bunch of classes from programming to music to English to uh, history, all these different things that interested me. but. Uh, Nothing that, that quite clicked. And there were a, a number of things that led me to this decision, but the main one, one that, uh, <laughs> one that kind of scared me into it, really got my perspective. It was one day during my first year, and I was undecided. I come home, hi mom, hi dad. And I noticed that my mom has something on the television. It was a Christian broadcast, and they were talking about technology. So it caught my interest. I'm a Christian, and you know, tech is one of my things. <laughs> So I, I sat down, I checked it out, and to this day, I wish I caught the name of the anchor as well as the name of the show so that way I could give them credit. So if you somehow happen to be watching this and it sounds like you, please reach out to me. That way I can give you credit in the video and in the description below. Um, but anyway, so I sat down to watch some of this with my mom before going on to do whatever assignments that I had. And something that they said, I'll never forget, made the hair stand up on the back of my neck and stopped me dead in my tracks. It's like the air was just swept out of the room. We're talking about technology and they said a lot of people say that we live in the age of information, but in reality we live in the age of deceit. I'll say it again. A lot of people say that we live in the age of information, but in reality we live in the age of deceit. And that stopped me exactly where I was. Nothing else mattered. I realized that that was so true. I mean, you think about it, how many times you think about any given news story, right? You pick your topic of the day and how different of coverage you'll get from, I'll even say it in alphabetical order so no one can accuse me of favoring one versus another, you know, CNN and Newsmax. It could be the same story, but they'll have completely different coverage on it. And if that's something you haven't experienced, I would definitely encourage you to look up a given story and just see what their perspective is on it, because you'll see that Sometimes it'll be the same thing, but based on the narrative that they're trying to push, you'll realize that it'll appear as though they're telling completely different tales. And we wonder why, you know, our, our country and the world can be at odds so much because it's not just truth and fact being reported, but it's people's opinions and that's divisive and because it's presented as truth, which is something that's quite frightening. So I say all that, let's come back to the main point that we do not live in the age of information, but in the age of deceit. Something can be changed online, and all of a sudden, that's what is now the facts, right? <laughs> Based on what people think, and it's a scary thing. 
So I knew that in between getting serious about my faith and really digging into the Word of God, in fact, the Bible says that God is truth. So you want to know the truth? Stick to the Word of God. Keep your nose buried in that, and you won't go wrong. And on the technology side, I realized that in today's world, with how crazy things get, because I don't run a news outlet, I don't have reporters seeking out these things, so I can't decide that. So I decided that I had to put myself in the best position possible to be able to determine truth from falsehood and truth from lies. In fact, misinformation is a word that a lot of networks, whether social media, news outlets have spread lately. But where I grew up, we just called them truth and lies. <laughs> we called it what it is. So I would encourage you guys to quit using that word, misinformation. If it's a lie, call it a lie. If someone's misinformed, you know, you can say they're misinformed out of love and out of caring. But in fact, I would encourage you also to find the middle ground with people. I think that's something that's been lost. But there have been some really good friends and people I care about that we've had differing opinions. In fact, one time a dear friend of mine posted a, uh, or reposted I should say, an article. Um, and this was something that was uh, presented to President Trump in a negative light. However, it was from a satirical website. It, it was completely made up. It wasn't even something real that he said that was goofy. And we all say, you know, silly things. But at the same time, I was able to reach out to her privately and say, no, hey, you know, Sister Ed, I know that we do certain things different politically, but at the same time, this, this article was just made up as a joke, and she said thank you for it. I, the last thing I wanted, even though we see things differently politically, was for her to be humiliated or embarrassed, and that's not to pat myself on the back, that's just to say we need to reestablish that middle ground, to say that, hey, you know what, one person might be saying this is the truth, one person might be saying that is the truth, but in reality, it probably lies somewhere in the middle or maybe a little bit outside <laughs> of one of those ends. So I say all this to say that the truth matters. That's one of the reasons why I got into technology in the first place, because the truth does matter. You want to know the truth? Keep your nose buried in the Word of God, the Holy Bible. In fact, it's just out of reach over there. But I would encourage you, if you don't have one, get one. If you perhaps don't have the money, I would encourage you Go to your local church. Um, if you happen to be in the area, come by Reach Church. That's where I go, right in White Plains. If you happen to be in Cobleskill, New York, where I grew up, go to Fusion Community Church. Talk to one of the pastors. Tell them that you need a Bible. It is so important that we know the truth, so that way you can tell anything else that's a falsehood. So, I love you guys. I know this was a different one. And, uh, yeah, more to come, because there are certain things that are more important and transcend uh, transcend technology. Alrighty. God bless you in Jesus' name.